We're in the middle of an unusually strong solar storm. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issued a severe geomagnetic storm warning today for the first time in almost two decades. Things like navigation systems and high frequency radios around the world could be impacted by this geomagnetic storm. And experts say there's a possibility some areas will experience blackouts. As we enter the weekend, a G5 magnetic storm watch is in place. Something physics professor Jean Perez says could have major impacts on our satellites. That the main, main concern is power outage, and I mean generalized power outage. A warning coordination meteorologist for NOAA, Jay Breidenbach, tells us this storm is the highest on a five-step scale. It's not a storm on the Earth, it's a storm on the sun, uh, but it will have some, some impacts here on Earth. One of those impacts, according to aerospace professor Alicia Peterson, is the way many of us communicate, our cell phones. So that means that there could be interruption to all of our media and uh, internet that might depend on uh, satellite systems. Through Sunday, five different eruptions from the sun's atmosphere are expected to arrive. Here in the United States, we'll be protected by the Earth's magnetic field, but some electric grids could be disrupted, throwing off our GPS systems. So what we might see are effects where a satellite might uh, not have as accurate uh, location information, might have interference with its communication between satellites and the ground. Now, when it comes to the auroras, Breidenbach says there's a good chance even more people will be able to see them. You know, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, in, in that area, wouldn't that be something to see the northern lights that far south? To best protect yourself during the storm, experts say prepare just like you would for a snowstorm, even a hurricane. Get extra supplies like battery packs and also some water just in case you lose power. I'm Jeff Harris reporting from Washington.